Welcome to MindSticks. MindSticks is an entertaining and educational application that can improve your abilities. MindSticks is useful for innovative teachers, caring parents, and anyone who wants to help simplify the process of learning for their children. There are no complicated techniques or grueling training required to play. The game is real simple. It uses matchsticks to help develop skills such as logic, imagination, and attention. This is a review of the first version of the program. It represents, it's represented, I should say, by logic puzzles, which are math and shapes. The developers promise that in the future the game will grow and new types of puzzles will be added for memory, attention, imagination, and reaction. Now, this is the main page right here, the main, main window. Uh, the first thing that we have here is the hashtag or, or tag and if you want to find a specific puzzle you'll click on this button and put in the code that goes with that puzzle the complexity is the next section the play button so that you can get to the different levels and the editor button we'll talk about the editor button here in just a little bit but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the play button and um, start a level alright so here's the the level or the game. Um, what I'm going to do is walk through the page here or the the screen. The the black is what I call the blackboard and as you can see the equations are already there. At the top here we have the task or the the object of this level. In the upper left hand corner we have the clock that tells us how long we've taken to play the game. The number of moves used or a number of mu moves uh, with the matchstick and then the tag that's specific to this level this is what you would give your friends and family if you want them to play this level and then on the upper right hand corner we have the editor button which is for the author of this level to use a tag button so if you want to group multiple levels together you can create a specific tag and then give that tag to friends and family to play all those levels and then the home button in the upper right, er, excuse me, in the lower right hand corner, we have the replay button, the info button, the hint button, and the skip button. And we'll kind of go through each one of those as we go throughout this game. The info button, real simple as you can see, is, is it comes and takes this part off. The replay button, as you can tell, will reset the clock for us and reset the game. So if we make a mistake, then it'll automatically shift over. Now what we're wanting to do here is we need to solve by moving one stick to make a correct equation. So 7 minus 2 is not 3. It's 7 minus 2 would be 5. Now 5 would be represented by clicking on the stick. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can click on the stick like I just did and then click on the place you want it to go. Or you can click on it and drag to, the win to, that, to that section. Okay, so let's go ahead and replay here. So we'll go ahead and move it. Oh, let's replay here. Um, now, um, move one stick. Now, I'm not sure what the next solution is, so I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use the hint button. Oh, took the stick off of here and made it a plus. So one plus two equals three. That's another good issue there so we'll click on the next button now as you can tell it took me 15 seconds to solve that second solution again it took two operations now doesn't matter whether you click and put it into the pocket which is this little spot down here and then put it back up which would be two operations or clicking and dragging either way if you move a stick it's two operations per move alright and that'll increase each time until you get the problem correct. Now here we can rate the level and this allows us to tell other people how well we thought it was or we could just simply go on to the next. We're going to go ahead and go on to the next um, level and actually it's not the level we're going to go on to another game uh, to show you what the rest of this game is actually about and uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do is click on the home button and here we are at this point. Now, now that we understand how everything works, let's try out the other brain teaser, which is shapes. 
The main caveat in this brain teaser is that you need to consider all of the squares as small, which would be one stick squares, or big, which is two or more stick squares. And I'll kind of go into this a little bit uh, more in detail here in just a moment. I have an interesting game that I want to try. I've been playing this a little bit and I saw one that I thought this would be a great way to learn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up using the hashtag. Alright, so what we have here is I've chosen a specific uh, puzzle for shapes and as you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five. Now there's a sixth puzzle right here because of the two sticks per side. All right, so it's the number of sticks per side. They have to equate to the same number. So two, uh, one, uh, three would be something that goes around all the way here. Uh, you could even do four, which is bigger, five, of course, and then six if you want to use this whole thing. But they have to be equal sides. They can't be a rectangle here. Now, our task is to get three sticks onto the board to create 10 squares. We're going to let the hint button decide where we're putting those. Alright, so it says problem solved. Now, as you can see, it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8, 9, and 10. So we've now solved that puzzle. And if you want to challenge your friends and family, you just give them that little unique um, code, as I said to uh, have them try it out. And we're going to go ahead and click next. Now again remember you touch the screen and you drag it back and forth to decide what level you want or you can click on the individual or touch on the individual stars to do it. We're going to give it a level 5. Now it says do you want to finish this set of games? Do you want to play a new game based on your latest preferences? We're going to say no and that'll bring us back to the main menu. Alright, so let's talk about one of the main features of the program, the editor. Now through the editor, the user, or author is what I like to call them, is able to create their own unique levels and problems, solve them, and then share them with their friends and family via the unique hashtag that is created by either the computer or um, uh, their own unique hashtag if they group multiple together. Now we can open the editor two ways. We can make a new empty task or um, we can open up in a specific game. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up a, a new empty task. So we're going to go ahead and choose on editor and we're going to do a shape. All right. Now both math and shapes do the same thing. They're small sticks and big sticks. We're going to choose big sticks. All right. Now, this screen is laid out to help you develop your unique levels. In the upper left-hand corner here, this tells us whether we're going to move a stick, remove a stick, or add a stick, depending on if there's a certain number here. This is the level, uh, the level button that you choose what level the thing is. The task, this tells you if you're going to choose task or a new solution. We'll show you how that works in just a moment. Name, what, what your name you're going to give this level. The text, which would be our uh, goal for the level. The unique tag that we were talking about, that if you get group the tags together or group the levels together, that's what you would use it for. And then home. In the lower left-hand corner here in the pocket, we've got eight different colors uh, of sticks, matchsticks that we can use and um, in this case we're, we're going to talk about how to make your levels either simplistic or complex and this will be this will play a huge part of it. Now here at the bottom we have five buttons, or actually six buttons. I'm going to talk about the first five and then we'll talk about this last button a little bit later. The first three buttons actually create the blackboard where you put your sticks where your match sticks at the as you can tell the the first one is the big outer border squares okay so if you want to make it a big uh, either a big problem math problem or a big uh, shape that then you would do this one 
if you're going to have a cross or, or um, X shape uh, stuff, then you'll want to put that in there. And then the up, up and down, excuse me, up and down um, in here that will make for smaller squares if you want those. We're going to turn the last two off and leave the first one up. Now, these next two, this button right here signifies a specific direction that the stick has to go in order for the problem to be solved. This button here, we're going to leave that one on, by the way. This button here says the sticks have to go in a specific spot in order to solve the game. And I'll kind of show you why that's so important here in just a few moments. Here in the bottom right hand corner, we have the help button. If you want to go to the help screen to, to get some help with the game or creating an, uh, a level. The try button, which we'll see how that works here in just a minute. The save button so you can save the game and then new so you can create a new one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a game at this point. Now in order to create our own level, a uh, couple of things we need to do is we're going to have to add the instructions to the game. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put put one green rectangle, well, if I can spell it, in the center of the field. Now I call it a blackboard, but it's a playing field. Now the sticks should be in the same direction and we'll kind of show how that works here in just a minute. Alright, so that's the text. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a solution. So we're going to come over to the task button and click on new solution. Now, our text said that they were green matchsticks. So what we're going to do is we're going to put green matchsticks around this rectangle right here in the middle. We don't want to put it over here or over here because then when somebody tries to put it in the center and the solution is over here, then they're going to get it wrong because even though that's the correct solution, we've put them in the wrong spot. So we need to make sure and follow our solution correctly. Now the nifty thing about this is the way that text is laid out, the put one green rectangle in the center of the field, all the sticks must go in the same direction. There's actually two solutions to this. Now the, to help lay out the correct solution, if you want it to go a specific direction, let's say we want it to go in the uh, counterclockwise direction. Well, then we would click on the right side of the bottom of the line, and then the top, and then the left. Notice it's going in one direction. Okay, this is solution number one. Now let's go ahead and add another solution. Now look, I'm going to do the opposite of what I did before. Now that's going to generate a different solution to the same problem. So now we have two solutions for one task. Okay. Now we've used six different sticks. So we got to come down here, click on this, hit delete and the number six and click OK. Now up here, remember this is place sticks, so we need to tell it to place six specific sticks on here. Alright. Now with that, our, our level's almost done now. What we need to do is take a look at a few other options. Um, now, as I said, we can talk about the complexity of a mat, or a level, I should say, depending on what's here in the pocket. Now, six green sticks are required, but what's to keep us from throwing in six purple sticks? Oh, not the plus, just six. And six red sticks. And this teal color, I like the teal color, so we'll go with that. Now, each one of these colors are actually going to be on our level, and we'll see that here in just a moment. All right. Now, because we've added multiple colors, they're going to have to pay attention to the instructions very, very importantly in order for them to know uh, which color they want. Let's go ahead and give this a name now. Green Rectangle. Now this tag button, remember this is a unique tag, so if you're going to group multiple levels together, this is where you're going to create one. 
we're going to go ahead and let the computer generate one for us. As we go to the Try button, it is going to say, well, we need to choose a complexity level. So we're going to go ahead and choose Trainee, uh, which is level 2. All right. Now, we're not going to do a hashtag, as I said. Basically, our level is ready to go. As you can see, its counter is already starting to go. And again, we're going to choose which direction. Oh, look. See, red. I put red down and it says green, so I, I'm already starting off. So I just simply click on that, come over here to the green, and boom, there we go. See, now we're putting the green rectangle in one direction. Notice eight operations to do that one, two, three, four, five, six, and then removing the 12 because I was only putting one on so each one of those is six okay so let's go ahead and throw in the oh see I did it again throw in the d second solution there we go and again it did eight operations because I added and removed a six or a stick even though it was all done alright so now that we've gone and done that uh, We've seen it. There's no mistakes in it, so we don't need to worry too much. Trying the level out before you actually publish it is a very good thing because if you do have a mistake, you're going to be able to find it before you publish it. Since we don't have any mistakes, we're going to go ahead and save this. While I am here, let's talk about this last button, this lock button. This is a nifty little trick. Now, let's say we don't want a stick to go into a specific spot let's say we don't want it to go down here in this area come back on there we go and we don't want it to go up here alright now let's say there's also some sticks we want to throw on the board to throw it off a little bit okay let's take some red sticks and we'll stick them up here all right. Now notice I turned the lock button off first to put the sticks on. If you don't turn that lock button off, all you do is you end up removing the black line that locks it into place. Again, let's go ahead and try our level. Now notice I put this on the task level and let's see what happens to the game. Okay, so here is our four sticks. Now notice I can click on them but nothing happens to them. They can't be removed and in fact you can't even add anything to that spot. Okay and remember we put some down here and we can't even put those into place because we blocked or locked those levels. Alright so that's how that lock button works. Really really nifty. Kinda throws people off when they can't do certain stuff so um, that just adds to the complexity of the of the uh, game. All right. Do you want to make your game available in the public list? If you say no, that makes this level or game a private game. Therefore, the editor button will be gone. All right. And okay, so A Q M K. That's the hashtag that's been given to this. So let's go back to home and I'll show you what I mean by that. A A Q M K. All right. Um the game oh see I wasn't paying attention. It has to be green. There we go. All right, so there's that. Notice we can't even take off these like we were talking about, and we can't place any green anywhere over here. So we're going to come back over here and go the opposite direction. Okay, so we've solved that. And pretty much really there's one more thing I want to cover with you and that's the hashtags okay the the computer generates one with an at symbol a with the circle around it users generate a pound sign or number symbol uh, for their hashtags and what I want to do is show you how to generate one of those for yourselves now we come in here and we're going to play 
we're in a level that we like and we want our friends and family to play those and now I've already created one previously but it's going to be the same process you come in here you click on add tag now the first one is just enter the other hashtag or enter a hashtag you enter that in um, and then it'll save it and then you can continue on with the game and then when you go to add another one you get this um, basically so I'm just gonna hit add to the games one and this is what you'll see when you've created it or added to now let's go ahead and just skip on this and we'll add that as well and we'll skip this one and add that one as well alright so let's kinda of come back here now when you create the hashtag you have to have the number symbol at the beginning but when you go to look for it you don't require the number symbol okay so here we've got seven plus two equals six and we know that that's not true so we're gonna I'm just gonna let the hint symbol kinda do our job for us alrighty now here's all the ones that we've added into the games hashtag these are all the ones that we're gonna send our friends and family so that they can learn to play with us um, if you don't want to then you know you don't have to but that's how the hashtags work okay um, other than that that's pretty much it you've seen the different puzzles that are possible in this game with the future possible games that will be coming um, plus the ability to create your own levels and complexity now we've looked at the editor the abilities now it's time to go to use it and have fun with it and again this is a review just want to say thank you very much for allowing us to uh, show you how this game works awesome fun game and uh, good luck and enjoy